Hi everyone, today I have uh, Huawei MediaPad T5 AGS 2W09 uh, which is a Wi-Fi only model. So this tablet has been stuck on Android 8 because uh, Huawei did not uh, send any new update for this model in global market. So today I will uh, show you how you can install lineage rom which is based on android 11 so the first thing we need to do is tap seven times on build number to enable developer options then in developer options we need to enable oem unlock if oem unlock is disabled then you need to connect wi-fi first you can see it is saying connect to internet so we will connect wi-fi and then uh, we need to uh, log in to Google account. Only then uh, you will be able to uh, enable OEM unlock. The Chinese model don't have OEM unlock. So if your uh, tablet is a Chinese variant, then you will not see OEM unlock option in your tablet. But on global variant, you will see uh, OEM unlock option in developer options and you must enable it okay OEM unlock is enabled now so we will uh, also enable USB debugging in developer options uh, viewers all data on your tablet will be wiped so make sure you take backup before doing uh, this process okay now USB debugging is enabled we will open uh, ADB interface on our computer and then we will type ADB devices to make sure the connectivity of the tablet with computer is okay um, a message will pop up on your tablet to confirm the ADB access you need to tick always allow and press ok ok now the connection USB connection is ok and uh, now we will type ADB reboot bootloader because we need to unlock the bootloader of this tablet without unlocking the bootloader you can't do anything so once uh, we enter the command the tablet should reboot and uh, you will see a white screen with android logo and you can see it is written uh, phone locked so we are going to unlock the bootloader viewers bootloader unlock code is different for every phone so uh, you need to uh, buy bootloader unlock code for your tablet and then you will be open uh, able to open the bootloader of this tablet okay the command is fastboot oem uh, space oem space unlock space and then enter code when we enter command a warning will appear you need to select yes for uh, bootloader unlock and uh, your tablet should reboot and this warning message will appear after uh, we uh, perform the bootloader unlock process the all data on your tablet will be wiped so make sure you take backup of all important information on your tablet. So the first boot will take time. I have just speed up my video to save the time. First boot will take uh, time. Okay, uh, we need to enable developer options again and enable USB debugging again, the same process. And then uh, we need to boot in, uh, re reboot into bootloader mode using the same command okay now in bootloader uh, mode we will be able to see actually this is also called the fast boot mode so it's, it is same we can see phone unlocked is showing again we will move to computer and open uh, adb interface and here we need to type command fast boot space uh, flash space recovery underscore ram disk space and then simply drag and drop the twrp recovery on this cmd screen 
and then press enter you can also type the name of the twrp recovery okay the flashing has been completed now we should disconnect tablet from pc and then hold volume up and power buttons simultaneously so we will keep holding both buttons until tablet reboots and Huawei logo appears. When you see the Huawei logo, you can leave the but power button and keep holding volume up button. Only then tablet will reboot in TWRP recovery mode. Okay, we are in TWRP recovery now. Uh, we need to uh, connect cable with the tablet and we are going to transfer some important files uh, to the micro SD card. Viewers, you cannot use the internal storage, you need micro SD card. So, we will uh, copy these three zip files. I will provide the download link in description of this video. You can also download from the uh, from uh, the website okay uh, these three files are copied to the micro SD card storage we cannot use internal storage because we are going to wipe the internal storage okay once uh, we have copied the file we tap on install zip and then we will select storage and choose micro SD card where we have copied the files and we will flash this Huawei decrypt EMUI 8 zip file okay swipe to flash once flashing completed we should go back to main screen and tap on wipe advanced wipe and select only these partitions which you are seeing here okay these five partitions only don't select any other partition and swipe to wipe then you need to tap on reboot and select bootloader don't reboot to system otherwise your tablet will stuck on logo so make sure you select reboot to bootloader and uh, now tablet should enter fast boot mode again and now uh, we will uh, flash uh, the lineage rom on this tablet okay once in fast boot mode we will move back to the computer and uh, in the adb interface type command fast boot space flash space system space and simply drag and drop the lineage rom image uh, to this uh, screen and now this process is going to take 5 to 10 minutes in video you will see the process is moving faster because I have uh, just uh, um, uh, increased the speed of this this video so you need patience here maybe you you, you will feel like it is stuck there but uh, uh, the process uh, is uh, going on in the back end so just have patience okay it will take around 5 to 10 minutes so viewers this rom is basically uh, uh, developed for p8 Lite 2017 model so these are same uh, uh, models they have same hardware so okay once it is flashed you need to uh, disconnect tablet and uh, hold the power button to reboot it Viewers, if you uh, don't need uh, Google Play services on Lineage, you can just uh, start using your tablet. And if you need uh, Google Apps, then you need to um, you, you should continue this tutorial, and uh, I will show you how to install Google Apps. Viewers, first boot will take time. First boot can take around uh, five minutes so it sometimes it will feel like uh, it is stuck on the warning screen but uh, it will boot up if if you follow the instructions properly okay the lineage is booted and now we are going through the initial configurations you can basically skip all the uh, all these uh, uh, configurations you can do all these things later inside the operating system okay the lineage has booted so we have uh, a very smooth transitions 
we can see android 11 there and uh, okay it is it looks good so are going to uh, power of uh, tablet and again we will enter uh, TWRP recovery so after uh, the tablet is off you need to hold volume up and power button simultaneously once logo appears you can leave the power button and keep holding volume up button and tablet should enter fast boot mode oh sorry uh, TWRP recovery mode we were this short message means the tablet is booting into TWRP recovery okay we are in TWRP recovery and uh, swipe to allow and then simply tap on install and then select, select storage and flash open G apps may I have copied two different types because I, I, I was not sure which version is going to work but open G apps work just fine so we are flashing open g apps uh, which is for uh, android 11 arm 64 devices so uh, it will just flash fine okay once flashing complete you can simply reboot your tablet and uh, uh, now if you want you can perform a factory reset from settings and if you don't want to uh, factory, perform factory reset the tablet will still work fine now after the reboot I will uh, check basic some basic functions of uh, this ROM we was uh, what I have uh, uh, seen that Bluetooth is not working Wi-Fi is working but Bluetooth was not working uh, in this ROM so this is a bug uh, i am not the, not the developer of this rom so i may not fix this problem uh, i will uh, mention the original developer of this rom and uh, maybe you can contact him and if he provides uh, some fix for uh, this bluetooth problem uh, i will just uh, test few things because uh, the font size looks very bigger I will just try to uh, decrease the size of the screen yes now it is okay and display is very sharp not blurry or uh, um, the transitions are very smooth so it looks good but uh, if you are not familiar with GSI ROMs I will not suggest you to install it because uh, Huawei is not easy uh, to fix if you break your device okay Huawei uh, Huawei devices are not easy to fix and the the fixing them is not uh, always free so it costs you money if you break your device okay I have just uh, I am just testing the screen lock because on some uh, devices the screen lock disappears after rebooting so I will just uh, make a test if uh, lock remains intact even after the reboot so the camera is working Wi-Fi is working I think this is this is a wireless uh, tablet so oh, we cannot expect much from uh, uh, this tablet now we were uh, the booting is very uh, slow it takes a lot of time uh, uh, at the boot time so because uh, it is very uh, you know uh, entry level uh, device it, it, the CPU is not so much powerful that is why it is taking so long at the boot so okay uh, I will try to add my Google account viewers uh, uh, one thing I would like to uh, uh, tell you that uh, the charging is not working when device is powered off 
this is uh, the problem with all huawei devices once they are rooted or uh, they are um, uh, flashed with G with gsi roms the offline charging mode does not work okay Bec uh, so uh, i advise you no never let uh, the battery drain completely you must uh, keep at least 5% charge just as a safety uh, measure because when you will connect the charger when tablet is off it will uh, it will start boot looping and then eventually it will crash to the e recovery mode but in e recovery mode um, the charging works but you will have to wait a few minutes until the uh, process uh, completes and then tablet will reboot normally so except the charging issue it is i think uh, the rom is usable thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos in future